Hi, my name is Tropic. If you just recently picked up Rourke's Attack on Titan fan game, loaded it up, joined the lobby only to get totally beat up, then you and I are not so different at all. Every day I see new people coming to this game and the player base is growing day by day. But these new players leave almost just as quick as they join. And I totally understand it. It's not funny to play a game you think looks fun to play, only to get killed every single second. Same thing happened to me the very first day I started playing it, and it was not entertaining at all. Learning how to play this game and how to get good takes a lot of patience, and some people just don't have that. I have thus taken it upon me to tell you all about what I did and what I think you should do if you're a newly born trainee. Today I will be giving you some tips on how to get started on Rock's Attack on Titan fan game. The first thing I would recommend every new player to do is play offline. Get a feel for the mechanics and the keybinds in a closed environment. I suggest you play Training Forest free roam for this. We will pull out training mode later, but for now you just need to learn how to walk. Choose your character and class. I suggest starting with Swords, since they can stress more and are more forgiving when learning to burst. If you think this seems boring, just remember that everything I'm about to go through is what I did when I started playing as well. Sometimes the most boring steps can turn out to be the very foundation for you to start evolving for yourself. The very first thing to learn is easily the most important, and that is grappling. When I started playing, I spent several hours just grappling around the map, getting a feel for the in-game gravity and physics, and how the grappling worked in and of itself. Grappling around the map for about 15 to 20 minutes should give a good fundamental understanding on how it works. But don't sleep on this. I still see a lot of very good players, including myself, mess up a grapple once in a while. If you're just getting started, I would suggest you to do this as a warm-up routine every day the first 5 to 10 days of playing. When you get comfortable enough using the grappling, you can start integrating burst into your movement. Bursting and dashing is the main combat mechanic in this game. This is what all competitive players use to gain an upper hand over their opponent. But before we can use it as combat, we need to learn to use it as mobility, since this goes hand in hand. If you get good using your bursts and mobility, the combat is easier to pick up. The easiest burst to integrate first is the up burst, default on the E key. Swing around the map like before, but now once in a while press E to get a small burst up into the air and then resume grappling. This burst has a couple of purposes. Number one is getting into the air from the ground or getting up to a higher altitude from mid-air. Number two is to make a sudden change in your path. If you press E while mid-air, you almost come to a total stop, so you have time to redirect your pathing through the map. The next burst we can integrate into your playstyle is the forward burst slash dash, also known as extending in combat terms. This is a burst used to maneuver the map faster and more freely from grappling. By pressing W twice and holding it, you can perform a burst, and if you tap W twice and let it go, you do a small dash. In competitive play, this is used in combination with attacking to gain more distance or as mobility to maneuver the map where cables would be inefficient. When you get comfortable maneuvering the map with these two mobility mechanics, you can start combining them. As told earlier, when you press E to upburst, you will almost come to a complete stop. This makes you a sitting duck waiting to get shot or sliced. Not only that, but the time it takes for cables to accelerate and get you up to speed again is too long. By combining the upburst with the forward burst, you can quickly get moving from your standstill to full speed within seconds. This combination is good to use when you're getting chased or simply want to reposition for an attack or into a new dash. When you get comfortable using the grappling, the upburst and the forward burst, you're basically ready for picking up combat. But remember, the more you work on the free mobility, the easier the combat becomes. We are still working offline, but now we're pulling out the training mode. As soon as you get into the game, don't overcomplicate it. Figure out how the attacking works on the ground before taking it into the air. All the combat is very simple and it only first starts becoming complicated when we integrate attacking into our movement from before. Pressing F poises the weapons and holding the M1 or M2 until the casting bar becomes blue generates an attack. When you are ready to take attacking into the air, start out with only grappling and attacking. You can attack into the air to figure out how attacking works or you can attack the titan dummies to get a dedicated target when attacking. Next step is to integrate fast attacking and extending. This might be a bit tough, so start with an up burst, go into a forward burst, poise your weapons and attack. This is what is known competitively as extending. It is meant to be a long and quick attack with focus on combat. 
As soon as you get comfortable using the forward burst and attacking at the same time, you can remove the up burst for a neat quick strike. When you reach this step, you're basically all set and ready for online play. These few routines will help you get at least a couple of kills, but you should always be looking to evolve and get better. I have a few advanced techniques you can try to train, but remember, this is very tough to execute and might take some time for you to learn to use properly. The first technique that I personally think everyone who are looking into competitive play should learn is the ground burst. The game engine currently needs two inputs of the same direction to perform a burst or a dash the desired direction, but when standing on the ground, jumping is treated as a burst starter. This means you can jump and quickly tap or hold any directional key to do an almost instant burst or dash straight from the ground. This is rather simple to execute but can be combined into various combinations of burst and dashes straight from the ground. Next technique is side dashing. As you all probably noticed from the last technique, you can burst and dash sideways. This is known as side dashing and is used by many competitive players. This burst causes less stress but can only be controlled horizontally. I personally use this to reposition myself for a better angle to attack or to dodge other players' attacks. The next technique is sliding or poise running. If you land on the ground without touching any directional keys, you either get a very uncomfortable landing animation stunning you in place for a second or you start running. But if you poise your weapons before hitting the surface, you will automatically begin to slide. When sliding, you can perform a ground burst to get into the air again, on poise and you're ready to grapple. With APG and Thunder Spears, you start running instead of sliding, but it generally works the same way. Next technique is backdashing in combat, also known as faking. When two people strike each other at the same time, it will be treated as a parry and tear the sword durability. To counter this, you can perform a backdash to bait out the enemy attack and when they're in the middle of their attack animation, you go for your attack. This is one of the most common combat techniques to be used and is known as faking. If you learn the basic from the beginning and start implementing the advanced techniques into your playstyle, you're sure to be off to a good start getting into Rorok's attack on Titan fan game. From here start your own journey to evolve your own playstyle, and with it comes a lot of experimenting. As an example, I can show my signature move, which combines faking, side dashing and extending to get into the blind spots of my enemies. This signature move is perfect for me because it fits my playstyle of dodging and weaving around the enemies. Everyone has their way of playing the game, but we all have to start with the basics. So work on the basics and start building your personal playstyle from the foundation of what you learned today. With all this said, Thank you all for watching and I hope this was useful to you.